Hello everyone, welcome back to Bootstrap Workbench. Today we're going to be uh, unboxing and doing some checks on the BTEC UV25X4, which is a uh, new uh, radio that I ordered uh, to put into my pickup to replace the uh, current radio. Uh, nothing's wrong with the current radio other than uh, it's just an older model and uh, it's only a dual bander. And I'd like to have uh, 220 megahertz or a 1.25 meter band in my vehicle. So we'll go ahead and uh, unbox this item. So we have the uh, user's manual. The radio uh, is fairly small. Uh, it's a uh, it's actually listed on the box as being a mini. We've got the uh, microphone, which actually uh, feels pretty hefty. Not quite as hefty as a, uh, a Motorola, but uh, it's not too bad. Good positive response on the PTT. Let's see here. Hardware. Mic hang-up clip. And power cord. And it says here that the uh, cigarette power plug uh, is uh, 7 amp peak, 13.8 volt. So that's not too bad. Set the box out of the way. There's our uh, mobile mounting bracket. So there's the radio. Uh, fairly good sized display. What I think I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, we'll attach the power cord and plug it into a power supply that I have here on the next bench over. Power cord uh, length, not too bad. Foot and a half, two feet, somewhere in that range. Alright. Alright. Very cool. Let's go ahead and plug in our uh, microphone. cap on the antenna port. We'll go ahead and uh, hook up to our uh, service monitor. Cooling fan on the back of this unit is uh, fairly small, so I would imagine once it gets going it'll be uh, fairly loud, but we'll see. Alright, so right now uh, we're on the uh, 440 megahertz uh, band, the 70 centimeter band, and the uh, frequency that the uh, radio came up on by default is 440.125. So, uh, we'll set our uh, monitor for generate, and we'll put in 440.125. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and inject a 1 kilohertz tone. Alright. And we'll see where what level we need to be at. So receiver-wise, it looks like we need to be at, let's see if we can, somewhere between 10 microvolts and 1 millivolt. Sorry, 0.1 millivolt is where we need to be at to get the uh, squelch to uh, reliably open. That may be something that I can adjust. 
I'll need to take a look at that. But uh, out of the box, that's where it's at. Let me go ahead and uh, I'll put my uh, service monitor into uh, receive mode. And uh, I'll just key up quickly to uh, see where we're at. Let me put this on error so I can see how far off we are. Okay, so right now this radio is putting out 17 watts and it's around 520 cycles off, which is not too bad. Alright. Okay, so what we're going to do from here is uh, I'll go ahead and get this uh, radio mounted in my vehicle and uh, I'll do another short video uh, showing how it's mounted in the vehicle and uh, from there uh, I'll probably do another video within the next few weeks uh, to let you know how well the radio is working uh, oh also I wanted to let you know that uh, it's a great idea to go ahead and get the programming cable uh, for this radio uh, most of the newer radios are kind of a bear to program if you don't go ahead and get the cable. So, uh, although I've heard that uh, the newer Dolphin Tech radios are not as bad to program, but uh, still not great. All right, so that's going to be it for today. I hope that uh, you found this video informative. If you have any questions, let me know, and uh, thanks for watching.